In our previous video, we drew this diagram of our program where we have our driver, which is essentially a user interface class, and then vehicle, which is a noun. We already have that in our program. In this video, we're going to extend vehicle by adding neon, which is a very basic vehicle, cavalier, which is a basic vehicle with a possible option of being a convertible, and finally Prius, which is a fairly complex vehicle. Let's start by creating the NEON class. It's quite simple, really. I'm going to right-click on Vehicles, choose New, and then Java Class. And by Vehicles, I mean the package called Vehicles, the little gold box there you see to the left. So I choose Java Class, and we're going to say NEON. Uh, everything else is fine. I'm going to choose Finish. And now I get a, an empty class, public class NEON. At this point, I just have the class. I don't have the relation between neon and vehicle, this arrow right here that we see that is extension. So uh, let me add that, but in ju uh, just a moment, we're going to see what happens before I add that. Add a method called public void foo. We're going to delete this eventually. I just want to show a before and after. Now, I'm going to try to invoke one of the methods that is in the class called vehicle. And well, sorry, one moment. And we see we have a method called go. We have a method called get gallons of gas and a method called set gallons of gas. So let's try, for example, set gallons of gas. And I'm going to pass in, let's say, 10.0 and terminate with the semicolon. Now, I get a, a, an error message here that says cannot find symbol. And the reason is, at this point, we have not set up this association between neon and vehicle. So it has no visibility into this method called set gallons of gas. But watch what happens now when I set up this association. To do this, to make neon a subclass of vehicle, vehicle would be the superclass in that relationship, I simply add a word here called extends vehicle, just like so, and then save. As soon as I do that, you see, I no longer get a red line on that method. Now, we're not going to need that method. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I just wanted to uh, have a look at it, what would happen before and after we extend vehicle. In your programming assignment, this neon is, well, in this example, neon you see is a very basic car. There's nothing special to it. But by setting up this extension relationship, we inherit all of the logic that we have already built in the vehicle. We inherit all of this information here, all of these methods. In your programming assignment, a NEON would be like uh, the savings class, because the savings account is a very basic account compared to checking or CD. Okay, so I'm going to go into driver now, and I just wanted to kind of prove this out. I go into driver, and let's watch this in high definition. And what I'm going to do is, you see here, I have on, this is the user interface class where we're prompting the user. You see line 34. I have vehicle, my vehicle. Well, watch this. I can change it to neon, my vehicle, and then go down here to line 41 and change the constructor also to neon, and everything will still work the same way. So I save, and then I'm going to go ahead and run this program. Just a moment. Okay, right click and run. And you'll see the program will operate the way it always has. It's just using a class of type uh, neon instead of vehicles. So we'll go ahead and say no. We'll just run it a very simple uh, one trip. There we go. And you see we still get the output we would expect. Running a car with an odometer of 10,000 miles per gallon and 10 gallons of gas, running that 100 miles would leave us with zero gallons of gas and 10,100 miles on the odometer. So that was pretty straightforward. Let's look at a more complex case. I'm going to create a Cavalier. So a Cavalier is a very basic car like a Neon, but it did have one option that the Neon did not have, and that is you could get a Cavalier as a convertible. So uh, I'm going to go back to NetBeans, right-click on Vehicles and choose New, and then Java Class, and this one we're going to call Cavalier. Okay, Cavalier, again, we'll say Extends Vehicle. This is kind of like a checking account in your programming assignment, because in addition to being a savings account, a checking account is going to need to have something like a starting check number or last check number used or something like that. So the Cavalier is going to have a Boolean variable. We'll go ahead and make it, uh, we'll make it private, private Boolean. 
and we'll say convertible. Okay, and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say refactor. Uh, let's say one more time. We'll right click and I'm going to say refactor and I'm going to say encapsulate field. Okay, now one interesting thing that you'll see is that instead of having get convertible and set convertible, if it's a Boolean, the getter is actually called is. So that's going to be is convertible. So you see now we have a Cavalier and the Cavalier has a convertible attribute and it has a method for is convertible and a method for set convertible. So let's save this. Let's go back to our driver class and instead of neon, let's make this Cavalier. Okay, and I put Cavalier. Cavalier, just like so. Okay, and then I save. Now, within my do while loop, well, it's just right after we have my vehicle equals new Cavalier. Let's say set it to a convertible. Watch this, my vehicle dot set convertible. You see that? That's the method that we just created, that set convertible method. So you see, we're able to invoke that method on a Cavalier, and the program will still run the same way it always has. Whoops, need to run it from this guy. Okay, gallons of gas, 10, and 10,000, and not another vehicle. Gallons of gas, 10, oops, oh well, looks like I did it twice, 10,000. Okay, distance to travel, 100, reimbursement rate, 44, no more trips, there we go. You see the program still runs as it always has. And you see we're able to access this variable, or this method set convertible, as long as our variable type is Cavalier. Now watch something interesting. If I change Cavalier to Neon, if I change it back to Neon, I'm no longer able to access this method. And why is that? Well, the method only exists in Cavalier, not in Neon. Okay, what if I change it to Vehicle? We could still use Vehicle. Okay, Vehicle, and then uh, my Vehicle equals New Vehicle. Still cannot access the method. Now there's one funny thing that we can do here. So far the variable type and the constructor that we're calling, remember a constructor call creates an object, those two have been the same. We can do something interesting like this, Cavalier. And that's legal. I'll talk more about that when we get into a discussion of polymorphism. But nonetheless, you see the only way we can call set convertible is if the variable type is the class that has that method. Any other class won't work. Okay, let's do the most complex case now. Let's take a look at this thing called Prius. Now, Prius is interesting because with Prius, we have two new attributes, miles per milliamp hour, which is basically how, how far can I go on a unit of battery charge, and then also milliamp hour, which is a, a way we can measure a charge of a battery. And because a Prius is a hybrid vehicle, pressing the accelerator may or may not change the odometer. So we're gonna to have to have our own run method here in Prius as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a Prius. I'm gonna say new and then Java class, and this will be Prius and finish. And we remember we're gonna do that thing where we say extends vehicle. Okay, now I'm gonna say int milliamp hour and int miles per milliamp hour. Uh, I really don't like abbreviating that one much, so miles per MAH, that'll work. And we'll make it MAH like that and stay somewhat consistent. Okay, there we go. And uh, now I'm going to, and to be honest, I really don't like abbreviating at all. Milliamp hours. If you abbreviate, you'll forget what your abbreviations are, and it's better to just spell it out. So refactor. Uh, intro, uh, 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 sorry, uh, encapsulate fields. Let's go ahead and select all and choose refactor. Okay, now you see we have these attributes that are specific to a Prius. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it its own go method. I'm going to type the word go and I hold control and hit space and you see that NetBeans gives me a little hint here. It says override void go. So what it's saying is, you know what Prius? I see that you're trying to get a go method. I see there's also a go method that's in the class called vehicle. Would you like to use that go method? And I'm going to say, yes, I would. I'm going to go ahead and double click and take a look at this. Public void go in distance. Okay, 
that looks exactly like that method signature looks exactly like this method signature up here in the class called vehicle. So you see now Prius has a place where it can do its own work. And uh, we also have this get milliamp hour, set milliamp hour, so on and so forth. Now, the first thing this go method does, and this is optional, but we're going to go ahead and keep it in this case. This go method is calling the superclass go method. What's the superclass? It's the class that follows that word extends. So if I run this right now, it is still going to work if I, even if I run it as a Prius. Let's go ahead and do that. Prius my vehicle, and then my vehicle equals new Prius. Now Prius does not have that set convertible method, so let's take that out, but even without that, we'll see uh, this program will still run. So right click, run file. Okay, gallons of gas, 10. Miles per gallon, 10. Odometer, 10,000. Do not need to create a new vehicle. Travel 100 miles at a reimbursement rate of 44 cents per mile. And you see we get the same output that we always have, even with this thing called Prius. Now, uh, one question, which Go method is getting called? Is it the one in vehicle or is it the one in Prius? Well, we know that the one in Prius is overriding the one in vehicle. Override means we have a subclass, and that subclass has a method with the same signature as one in the superclass. So which one of these runs? In this case, it, it, it doesn't matter too much because if we call the one in Prius, that one just immediately redirects it to the one in vehicle anyway. So the same logic is going to run. But let me put a system out print line statement here that says in Prius running in internal combustion mode. Let's see if that prints out. Let me hit save and let's see if that prints. So I'm going to run one more time. Okay, gallons of gas 10, miles per gallon 10, odometer 10,000. Uh, don't want to create another vehicle. Go 100 miles at a reimbursement rate of 44 cents per mile. And take a look at this in Prius running in internal combustion mode. So that's a quick look at extension. We are going to have a couple more videos in this series. Uh, one is going to be called creating a factory method. That's kind of a common design pattern. Another one is going to be a discussion on polymorphism. A polymorphism, that's a really, very intimidating sounding word, but it's a very important concept in programming. And let me give you just a hint of what's going to happen there. In polymorphism, we're going to change the variable type to vehicle. But we're going to keep, so you see this thing, this is declaring a variable. Remember, a variable has a name and a type. We're going to keep the object type as Prius. So the object type is the constructor that we're calling here. And that's legal. The variable name can be the same as the object type, or the variable name can be the superclass type. That's okay. Uh, so we'll get in more into that when we talk about polymorphism. But the question I have for you now is, if I run this class, if I run this program, and the variable type is vehicle, but the object type is Prius, is it still going to run the Prius-specific Go method that prints out this message? Let's find the answer. I right-click and run. Gallons of gas, 10. Miles per gallon, 10. Odometer, 10,000. Don't want to create another vehicle. Distance to travel, 100. Reimbursement rate, 44 cents per mile. No more trips. And take a look. In Prius, running in internal combustion mode. That means when we have this scenario of a different variable type than an object type. So the uh, variable type is a more general type. It's the superclass. And the object type is a more specific type. It's a subclass. When we have that scenario, the methods in the subclass will run if they override methods in the superclass. So that's a quick look at extension in Java. In our next video, we're going to take a look at the factory method. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.